Hello everyone, this is Victor Momo from Excel Moments. This video is a response to a question that I was asked by a user on Nigerian Excel users. And it's simple. It says I have a couple of worksheets in my workbook. For the empty worksheets, empty meaning no cell has data, I want those tabs to be colored red. Maybe I want the others to be colored green. So this, for example, has data, so it's going to be green. This has data, it's going to be green. This one is going to be red, and so on. Okay? So essentially what I want to do in this video is show you how to write a quick VBA code to do that. Okay? Simple. Just follow, you know, the thought process. Essentially, you're just going to use the count A function. Count A function will tell you how many cells in the range are not empty. Okay? So if that is zero, it means all of them are empty. And based on that, that will be our check to know if a worksheet is empty. And once that happens, we color that tab red, else, you know, the tab color is green. So let's go into VBA. So you could easily do that by going to the developer tab here and Visual Basic. But when you hover over Visual Basic, you can see Alt F11. So even if you didn't have developer tab visible, you could press Alt F11 and that takes you into VBA. That's typically how I get in. Anyway, uh, then once you get in here, you can go to Insert and do Module, or you could do Alt IM takes you in. Um, I always have option explicit there. I like to declare all my variables. Um, that's a discussion for another day, but it's very good practice to do that. Okay, so now let me start my code. I'll say sub, I would say color tabs, all right? Now, the first thing is I'll create a variable to represent my worksheet. So then I'm going to look through all the worksheets in the workbook. So that's what I'm going to do. So I would say dim wks. This is the variable to represent my worksheet or a worksheet. And now I may need some other variables, but for now I think I can go ahead. So I'm just going to loop through every worksheet in the workbook. So I would say for each wks, meaning for each worksheet in the workbook I mean, which is the active workbook dot worksheets. So for each worksheet in all the worksheets in this workbook. Anything between the four and the next is what should happen, you know, for each of those worksheets. So what do you want to do on each of those worksheets? You want to count, you know, the number of cells that are not empty. So you can use the count a function. The count a function, you know, it's not a VBA function. It's a worksheet function. So you can pull that up by doing, you know, application.worksheet function. Or you could actually just do worksheet function, but I'm just trying to fully declare it. So I'll do application.worksheet function. The worksheet function here has the functions that are not VBA functions, but are worksheet functions. So when you put your dot, you can see, you'll see your typical functions that you use on the front end. So I can do count A. Okay. So what am I counting in? What range am I counting? For my worksheet is WKS. So I can just say WKS dot. One of two things, I could say WKS dot, you know, of cells, meaning that all the cells on the worksheet, but you could also restrict it to just the used range. Used range meaning that rather than Excel looking through all the cells, 1 million rows times, you know, 16,000 columns, it just looks at the range where there's supposed to be data, right, which is called the used range. So if that number is zero, then it means there isn't any cell that has data in it. So just do WKS dot used range. So this is will tell us, you know, whether there's data in there or not. Okay, so that's what we do. So we're just going to put an if and say if this is equals to zero, then what? This is an empty worksheet. That's what this means. So what would I do? I would then color the tab. So I'll say WKS. That's the worksheet dot the tab dot color. So meaning that the color of the tab of the worksheet, you read it from right to left, should be equals to you have some standard. I would say the um you know colors that you could use so i could just use red so i would say vb visual basic red okay so else i will say wks dot tab dot color equals to vb green sorry about that okay so that's pretty much what it is so if the count of you know used cells is zero empty that means make it red, else make it gray. So what we are going to do now is you can see my worksheet here, a workbook, and you can see my sheet. So I'm just going to run it once. So I press the play. So you see that? So you can see green and red. 
And if, for example, this one here that had, uh, say, tested, if I just put data in here, of course, it's no more empty. It's not going to automatically change because of the way I've written my code. I have to rerun the code, all right? And I'll do play, okay? And you see that it's no more uh, red. It's now green. If I select the data, delete it, and then go back and rerun the code, okay? It's back to red. So, but what you could do as in to make it semi-dynamic, but the thing is you don't want it to run every time. I mean, you could set it in such a way that once, you know, the workbook calculates, it should run this code, right? But your workbook would probably calculate a lot of times. And that means that this code would run in, you know, so many times. But it might be a code that runs very quickly because you don't have so many worksheets. So you could do that. You could also look at some infrequent activities, like say, when the workbook is saved. You know, so if that's a little infrequent, then that may be better. So whenever it's saved, you should do this check, you know, to see um, whether it's empty or not empty and it will color them in accordingly. So it's um, a relatively simple, you know, code to write. Once you understand the logic, the main thing here is knowing how to check if a worksheet is empty, which is just really like counting, you know, the used cells. If the used cells is zero, then it's empty, obviously, then color it red. Else, you know, color it green. And you just put it within a for loop so that it can look from worksheet to worksheet. And that's pretty much what it is. So just some quick VBA code, you know, to maybe get your creative juices flowing. So if you like this video, hit the like button. You can also subscribe to the channel, Excel Moments. For now, I'm out.